Miranda versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Will you only give me strength? Probably don't even want to keep Holy Smite, even if I knew it was aggro. Am I supposed to play a Radiant Elemental into that? It doesn't really ever die, so I think it's fine. Alright, let's fucking go. Wow, these are kinda bad. I was really hoping for like a power word shield or something here. Take the inner fire, I guess. And I'm gonna pint size potion so I can kill that for free. Make sure both of these guys live through the turn. One of them can die if he has a war leader. So I guess I'm just hoping he doesn't. That's fine. If these guys can live until turn 5, then my Lyra might be sick. Probably pretty unlikely, but could happen. Let's just do this. I leave these guys damaged, I give up a hero power on one of them. But it's not that likely that he can kill both of them, or even one of them this turn. And if he's true silvering, I didn't want to waste time hero powering one of them anyway. I think I have to just go in on Lyra here, especially if I draw another playable spell, which is very likely given my deck. So we'll do that and then circle. Sir. Yes, please. What's the best spell in my deck here? Oh, I just take Shadow Visions and keep getting Lyra cards, right? Damn. Probably Power Word Shield. Just keep generating cards. Nice. Go Power Word Shield. Start spreading these buffs out a little bit, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> There's too much shit in my hand. He needs equality Pyromancer, and I don't think that deck plays Pyromancer. Oh, he has coin still? Okay. Wait, he attacked. Oh, okay. That's still good for him. I wonder if he's dead here. I only have one Divine Spirit in my hand, huh? That sucks. Um, he might still be dead, though. I can pint size potion, potion of madness, throw tentacles on this, it's 13. Yeah, he's dead. What is uh, okay. Alright, well. If anyone is wondering why Lyra is in the deck, that's why. Pretty lucky that I had those Radiant Elementals live forever, but, you know, sometimes that happens. Well, Humongous Razor Leaf is a good card. Go for this guy here. Hope he doesn't have Crackling Razor Maw. Deadly Shot? Who plays Deadly Shot?
Such big teeth I have. Where's that wild pyromancer when you need him? Or a silence. Such big teeth I have. It's like this guy knows I have pyromancer in my deck and is just taunting me because he knows I won't draw it. Let's see what I can pick up off this. Potion of Madness is really good. Purify is good too, but Potion of Madness I think is just pretty sick. Let's me take a Kindly Grandmother. And I think that is pretty good. Hopefully I can still draw silences for these guys. I wonder if there's ever a world where he doesn't kill my Radiant Elemental here. Probably not with that. Well, okay. I mean, if you want to go face my dude, I'm not going to stop you. Let's make a Lyra play here. That seems like fun. That's a good card. Um, unfortunately, all of his stuff has zero attack, so Potion of Madness is not too good here. Just take an Inner Fire, I guess. Just since I can play it this turn, pretty much. Kill off his charger guy. I feel like he wasn't really in a position to just go face last turn. Although I guess if he assumed I had to trade the 3-2 into the Tundra Rhino and then weaken the Radiant Elemental, maybe it was better for him. I think this Holy Nova is going to be pretty devastating. I could still die. If he has Unleash the Hounds and Kill Command next turn, that would be a lot of damage. I wonder if I'm supposed to kill off one of my dudes to play around that. I got pretty fucked by an Unleash the Hounds the last time I didn't respect it. I'm at 9, I can heal up to 13. I would actually die to that. I don't have any Divine Spirits or anything, so I'm very unlikely to have lethal here. If I only let him get 4 dogs, he can only do 12 next turn with that. So I think I actually do just trade off my 3-2 here. Go ahead and enter fire this guy just to get another card. Trade this guy off before playing Potion of Madness. Let's heal and then cycle this Embrace. I don't think the Embrace is going to be too useful. Did I use that inner fire when I still had, or when I already had the Power Word Tentacles in my hand? That might have been a mistake if I did. I don't remember when I picked that up, though. Well, the Holy Fire should heal me for a pretty good amount here. I mean, it's obviously going to heal me for a pretty good amount, but it should heal me out of lethal range, hopefully. Let's start with this. Mind Blast puts me pretty close to lethal. Oh, the Binding Heal's really good, too. Oh, you don't even know the half of it, dude. Alright, cool. Lyra did a thing. I don't keep Lyra. Um, I don't think I keep Pyromancer. Although, if I can pick up a Cleric and a Circle, it's really strong. Radiant Elemental I don't really want to play on turn 2. I think I might start keeping Shadow Visions early on. Because you do want to hit the third Divine Spirit if you can. And if you draw both Divine Spirits before your Shadow Visions, then obviously you can't do that. So it looks like I'm coining a Burgly Bully on turn 4 and then following up with the second one on turn 5 if I can. Well, there's the circle for the Pyro. If I can pick up a Northshire Cleric and some minion stick on the board, I can easily draw like four or five cards. 
Not gonna play Wild Pyromancer as a Bloodfin Raptor here, though. Pass again. I don't know, maybe I should just be playing the Shadow Visions on one of these turns, since I do want to pick up one of the Divine Spirits with it. But I think just as long as I play it before I draw both, it's okay. Damn. Well, I guess it's better than the Stormwind Knight coming out. Definitely sucks to lose my Pyro here, though. I think I am still going to coin a Bully. It deals one damage to my Pyro, but I don't think there's really that much of a difference between a 3-1 and a 3-2 here. Throwing out the Cleric. And a circle? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I should be playing Doomsayer. That could definitely be a thing. So I can actually make him overdraw like a lot here. I'm not sure if I should, but I could for sure. Let's just go ahead and start with the Shadow Visions and see what happens. I think Power Word Shield is the card I really want here. I guess I can kill his Doomsayer, can't I? Still want the Power Word Shield. There is no way I'm actually going to get everything done this turn that I want to. Yeah, I roped really hard right there. There had to have been like a sick play there where I drew a bunch of cards with Circle of Healing. I don't think I really care about making him overdraw. Unless he's like playing a specific combo deck like mine, it doesn't really matter whether he draws his cards or not. My hand was kind of awkward for just like stealing the Cleric and Circle of Healing. I had to play the Power Word Shield first to buff the Pyro so it didn't just kill itself. And then I could have like stolen it and circled, but I would have overdrawn and I couldn't really get spells out of my hand because then the pyro would just die. Which maybe it was okay to just kill the pyro to draw some cards there. I don't know. Definitely an awkward turn, and I'm sure there was a better way I could have played it. If I play Burgly Bully and he gives me two coins, I will overdraw. I could coin out a hero power here, I guess. Or just spend a coin for no reason, I guess it would be. If I'm afraid of that. Or I could just throw out the Binding Heal. The coins are probably more valuable. I'm just going to throw out the Binding Heal. Get the card out of my hand so I'm less likely to overdraw. And I don't think the healing from it is too important. He's playing dragons. He has some interesting inclusions in his deck. The Doomsayer, the Dirty Rat, the Pyromancer. Priest has a lot of flexibility nowadays, I guess. It's kind of interesting. Hm. Interesting attack from him. I think I probably would have made that attack myself. I think I'm just going to play a couple of Razor Leafs here. I could have played the Cleric there for one draw, but I already have a Circle in my hand. I want to try to get at least two cards out of it. Circling there would have saved my Burgly Bully from his 5-6, but I just don't really see that as being too important. Wow. He pretty much threw out that Circle of Healing to heal his dude for two, since he could have just hero-powered it. That seems kinda questionable. Well, I'm a priest, so... Eight mana pass. There's just nothing really productive I could have done with any of my cards there. Alright. Um, that is kinda bad for me. 
But I guess if he's spending time killing these, that's not a total disaster. I think I need to draw with Cleric here. I just don't have anything to do. This guy has 8 health, so we're gonna hero power him and then play circle. Yeah, I have room in hand for this. Alright, there's an Auctioneer for next turn. I'm actually getting pretty close to lethal here. Maybe I just play Auctioneer and draw two cards. I don't think that's necessary, though. I kind of want to just throw out the Lyra just to get space in my hand. It's obviously not a very flashy way to use the Lyra, but it's kind of in the way right now. Hmm, that kind of feels bad. Those are some pretty good Draconid operative cards. If he doesn't heal himself, I actually have lethal with a power word shield draw. I probably should have just played Auctioneer double coin last turn. I didn't consider that I only needed a single power word shield for lethal. Alright, let's play Auctioneer here. There's a pretty good chance I'm gonna die next turn. But, whatever. Play a free inner fire here. Here's the power word shield I need for lethal next turn. Can't do it this turn, unfortunately. I'm actually gonna play the power word shield here. I feel like if I just wait till next turn, then he can just heal and I won't have lethal. So it seems kind of bad. So I think I need to dig through my deck pretty aggressively. And even if he does get past 28, if I draw the Holy Smite and the other Power Word Shield, then that's still good enough for lethal. It'll be 28 from the combo, then I can Holy Smite him for free for the 2 damage. Alright, looks like I'm probably not dead. I don't really know what those attacks are though. Holy Nova from Lyra, I suppose. He goes up to 29. I'm currently sitting at, I believe, a 67% chance at lethal. I need to draw either Power Word Shield or Holy Smite, and then the Shadow Visions can give me the other one. Uh, what? So I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Actually, maybe it was guaranteed lethal. I think it was, because I could have just always discovered the Power Word Shield and drawn into the card I needed. Alright, I can play this Power Word Shield too. Whoops, messed up my order. Oh, I played that game terribly. Still won, though. Classic Hearthstone. 